Hi everyone, today we're going to get Mortal Kombat Trilogy from the GOG Digital Store working on your Steam Deck. Stick around. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. So if you have a large library of GOG games, you might want to start getting some of them on your Steam Deck. So we're going to log into our account and go to my library for Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and we are going to uh, select the game and then click on the offline installers, which you'll have to probably scroll down, and you will see the offline game backup installers. In this case, it's a single file, but it could come with many files. This makes it relatively easy, though. We're going to download that 224 megabyte file, and you'll see that I have it right here in my downloads folder. So much like any other non-Steam game, we're going to open up our Steam library, click Add a Game, and add a non-Steam game. Of course, we're going to add the installer setup file from our downloads folder as the game that we're going to run. Make sure we change it to all files or we won't see EXEs, and we'll add it. Now if I type Mortal into my filter on the side, you'll see that I have um, a set up Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and let's go to the gear, and we need to set a Proton version, the latest version of regular Proton, GE Proton, Proton Experimental, any one of these will probably do. I like starting off with a higher version of GE Proton, but uh, it's not required for this particular title. We'll hit play, and the first thing we'll see is the standard GOG installer. So we'll go ahead and select English, and this is going to default to installing on the, quote, C drive, which is inside the Proton prefix. Now, this is only 143 megabytes, so it's probably no big deal. But if it's a bigger game, you're probably going to want to go into your options here and browse out to, say, the micro SD card or someplace else <laughs> other than installing it inside the Proton prefix or the C drive. So you can see here I'm navigating out to my micro SD card, and I could put it somewhere in here if I wanted to. But because it's so small, I'm gonna just leave it in the Proton prefix. Plenty of space. Okay, so the game will install. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time on these GOG games, the requisites like DirectX, Visual C++ runtimes, anything like that will not install automatically. You'll have to do it. But in the case of this game in particular, it will actually install DirectX 9.0C for you, which is a really nice deal. It's better than the LEGO Pirates that I installed, where I had to go in and install that myself. And presumably, we have everything that we'll need based on this installer to run the game. You'll also see that it popped a whole bunch of registry entries in there, too. Interesting stuff to note for... Um, this particular game. We're not going to launch it because that's just going to that's just going to confuse us. We're going to go ahead and find the Proton prefix. It's in the Compat Data folder that was re most recently created, which is this one. We're going to navigate in here, go to Drive C, find the GOG Games folder, open up the uh, MK Trilogy, and we're going to look for the launching executable which sometimes it's really, really obvious which one it is, and sometimes it's just not. Every game varies. In this case, I happen to know that it's mktrill.exe, uh, so I could sort by name, and I can actually find what I'm looking for, trillw.exe. Okay, so I'm going to right-click that and copy location. You need a mouse and a keyboard, folks. If you're, not, if you're doing these tutorials without them, I beg you, get a mouse and keyboard, and you'll find out why in just a second. We're going to go to Properties, hit Browse, and we're going to paste that shortcut in with the keyboard. That will actually change the launcher 2.2, the game executable, instead of the setup file, which is what we're looking for. So now we've changed the shortcut to actually launch the right game file. So now let's go ahead and change the name. It's not the setup file anymore. It's actually Mortal Kombat Trilogy. And we're ready to start it up. Let's see how we fare. Wah, wah. So it says right here that there are no available video modes, right? So what this means in old school gaming is that it wants 320 by 240 and the deck just isn't going to do it. Um, now you could say, oh crap, well I'm screwed, I can't play the game. Not necessarily true, because odd video modes like that, while they don't work in desktop mode, they do work in gaming mode with varying degrees of success. 
So let's go ahead and get ourselves out of here and head to gaming mode. Okay, now we're ready to take another shot at launching this guy. So we're going to go ahead and launch it from gaming mode. Well, hey now, we got it. It's working. All right. We might think that our effort here is over. I mean, it's obviously working. Hooray. But there's just one more little problem. And this is very common for older games, especially those that run in 320 by 240. You have to run them in gaming mode, but there's also one more problem. As you'll see in just a moment, the game plays in a little tiny window. Well, it's not a little tiny window, but it's a tiny window. That's not, I mean, you could play the game. It would work. But uh, maybe, you know, that's kind of a, an uncomfortable little window to play in, right? So what can we do about that? Well, some games you could go in and alter the config or do some other wild stuff. But in reality, the easiest thing to do for this game is to jump into our control set and set one of the back toggles to toggle magnifier. The back paddles and set it for toggle magnifier. And believe it or not, <laughs> watch this. We'll toggle the magnifier as soon as we get to the window. Boom, it fills the whole screen. Wow, that's really it? That's as easy as it is? Yeah, that's it. Now, obviously, you're doing scaling, and you're going to have, you know, whatever. But listen, this was 320 by 240 to begin with, right? So anything that you would do tricking DirectX or doing any of those other things, it's just going to be a scaled-up view anyway. And frankly, you know, listen, you're playing this old of a game uh, on the Steam Deck. On the little screen, this looks a lot better. Now, you're looking at this on YouTube. You've got it on your 1080p monitor or something, and you're going, man, that looks pretty blocky. But in reality, it's not. It, it actually looks pretty good on the, uh, the deck screen. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I appreciate it. This is Shane Armonroe. As always, take care, and we'll see you next time.